Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality and today I am showing you three new little tell -a -tale junk journals that I will have in my shop. They're actually listed in my shop right now, so go ahead and check the link out down below. Go over to my Etsy shop, check these out. I have also some other items in there. I have one more Easter little golden book junk journal as well as another one of these little telltale books and some other items in my shop. So hopefully you'll go over there and see if there is anything that you would be interested in. So I want to show you these here first and then I also will be letting you know who won my giveaway for the 3x3 card challenge with Lady Cree. I have a winner that I have picked with random comment picker and the winner will be receiving this little note card set that I made for that challenge. I also included a really cute little Easter pencil in there as well. So stay tuned for that. So I will start with this one here. It is Peter Rabbit, super cute little book. All of these I made similar to how I made my first little set that I made. And I will put the link for the video for those in case you would like some inspiration for any projects that you're making. These all are made with the little ring binders and then I used vintage fabric. Those was actually from my mother's stash of fabric. And then I added some fun fat yarn there. On this one, I used washi tape, orange washi tape to bind the side there and then I added some fun ribbon on the along the bottom and you open it up here it has a really cute little image on the inside spine I made a pocket there and I'll just do a quick flip through I used other book pages this is from a little vintage book on pets and this was on how to like how to have a rabbit as a pet <laughs> and so I also included some vintage other little items this is a flash card Mickey Mouse flash card I used vin uh, stained papers and doilies all the pages from the book are included in the book in the correct order so it's just a little um, scrapbook journaling card. I made little paper clips with the fabric. Here's a little tuck spot there. I used various bunny fab paper, scrapbook paper that I had. Here is a book page that I made into a little doily from a vintage book. This is a CD envelope, just kind of repurposed it. And then I put another little doily on the inside there. Here's a vintage flash card. This is a little glassine bag that you can put a note card or whatever in there, just a tuck spot. This is a vintage game sheet there and then I stamped out this fun little rabbit onto a little doily that I dyed out there. Some ledger paper. Here's a little tuck and also a side pocket there. I did stitching throughout the book. There's a vintage invoice. Here's a tuck and a little journaling card. Some fun trim on the side there. Here's some little uh, Easter playing cards. Here is a vintage, another vintage flash card talking about Easter treats. I sewed some of that fabric down below there. 
Here is a vintage image. The card is actually from 1990, I believe, but it's just a cute little bunny card. And then I included the envelope there. And then I sewed some trim on the side. Here's a vintage bingo card. I left it the back blank so that you could cover it or just through journaling or add a picture. Here is some Beatrix Potter, Peter Rabbit, uh, vintage wrapping paper that I found at my mom's house. And there's a little tag in there. Here is a little pocket that I made with a vintage book page. It's sewed onto the tea stained paper. And there's a pocket with a couple tags. And then this is the last page here, if I can open it. There we go. And then there's another beautiful page on the inside there. So that's that one, super cute. This one is Chicken Little, and I tied it with this vintage fabric, also from my mother's stash, and some fun fat yarn there. I added some rickrack on the side. This has a, I love these books because the inside covers are just so beautiful. So this image continues on the other side. This book also includes all the pages. Here's a little tuck with a little journaling card. I made a ruffle of the fabric there. And then this one has Easter chick card. This is also a 1990. And here's another little journaling card that I made and or that I attached with this clip that I made there. Another bingo card. I sewed this pom-pom trim on the side. And then here's a couple little playing cards. Ledger paper, another one of those board or so I, whatever Giotto is, I'm, it's probably like Yahtzee or something like that, but it's just a vintage score sheet. Here is another one of those bags, and then there's a little tag up there. I stamped the little chick on a little doily there and attached it at the top. And then there's some fun trim on the side there. There's another tag. This is a doily that I, I used to die on here, but it this is a vintage book page. I believe it's a chicken little, a different book. I'm not sure. And then there's another little doily in there. I used that stamp and stamped throughout the book as well. Flash card. Some fun lace there. Here's another one of those invoices. With all these books, I will include a baggie of goodies as per usual. There's a little pocket there, a little side tuck. Then I made a pocket with this book page. This is just a piece of the paper that I thought you could mount pictures on that. Here is another flash card. It has chicken up there. 
and then that's the last page. So on to the next book. Here is the 101 Dalmatians. This one had a major stain from the ticket that was up there, or the price sticker. So I used some doggy bone and paw ribbon and then add, added some rickrack there. I used more of my mom's fabric. Here's a tuck there, another little cute inside page of this book, super adorable. I sewed some pom-pom trim there. Here, this is a vintage book page that I made into a doily. There's a paper clip there. Another CD case, and then there's a doily of that paper there. I made a little tuck spot there on another vintage page, and this is from that vintage book on how to take care of pets. Used another vintage book page from a different book and made a pocket there. Have this cute little doggy stamp, so I stamped that throughout or in a couple different places. Here's a pocket up here, a little note card. This is an additional vintage book page. This is a card that I found at my mom's house, vintage card. I made that, I sewed a little book page on here to make a tuck spot on the side of it. Stamped the little puppy up there, really cute. This has a bingo card. Here is a tag. Had some fun eyelet lace or trim on the side there that I sewed. Here is a journaling card. Another flash card. The little tag. It's a little doghouse journaling card that I attached with a paper clip there. Here is an old uh, score sheet there. A little bit different from the other one. And then here is a vintage flash card there with a cute little dog. Some doggy note paper, another one of those invoices, and here is the back of that, and there's the back of that book. So I really love these. They turned out super cute. I am just in love with these. Sorry, I was kind of scrolled out a little bit far. I'm just in love with these little telltale books, so if I'm able to find some more of these, I will, and I'll make some little journals again. So I hope you love these little telltale golden books that I've made, and if you'd like to check them out in my Etsy shop, go ahead and follow the link over there and check out my other items as well. So if you'd like to find out who won my giveaway challenge, she will be receiving this cute little note card set just in time for Easter, and congratulations, Sparkling Char, for entering my giveaway and leaving the great comment. If you go ahead and message me over on Instagram with your address, name and address, I will mail it out to you. So I hope you liked this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Leave me a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality. Bye. God bless.